We've got there we go. Todd, your yep. former Super Bowl 50 wow. champ teammate, TJ Ward, joining us. No ring, though. You know what? I brought it with me, and I put it on this morning, and it was already hurt in my hand. So I was like, I'm not walking around. <laughs> just, just too heavy? Is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. I had it on last night, well, most of the oh, evening. And then I got back to the room, and I was like, Dude, <laughs> you are <were> tortured. <laughs> it, is, it is a hassle. It is a hassle. I, I was going to put it on this morning. I was like, no, nah, I did ready to roll last year. Had it on, man. some point, you got to stop wearing it all the time. Yeah. And just be the champion. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yep. You know, I love it. I, I still bring it out, but today it was just too long of a day to have it on. All day. And I don't like putting it in my pocket and taking it off because I definitely don't want to misplace it. How often do you think Which about it? I did once. Uh, wait, wait, you lost where it was before? It? Dude, I misplaced it. I uh, it was, it was, uh, I was out here. <laughs> and I had put it on my nightstand the night before, and then somehow it just fell off. Uh, and, dude, I woke up, and I was looking everywhere. I went to the lobby restaurant. Be panicked. I had breakfast. Yep. I was panicking. I went everywhere. And it was under the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, one of those last checks before you leave. Like, let me just look anywhere. Yeah. What a relief. Yeah, oh what do you do if you lose that? Can you get a replacement? I don't know. Nah, do you just buy Todd's? No, nah, mine. <laughs> they got Todd's name on it. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> hey, didn't, didn't Wade's fall off the uh, stadium? Who's fell off the stadium that night? Do you remember that? Uh-uh. Some, remember when we were having a party, everybody got their rings, and uh -huh. somebody fell over the top of the stadium? You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and they had to replace, like, you got a dent. I thought it was Wade. Oh, I didn't hear about that. It clearly one. wasn't hey, I'm not going to lie. That <laughs> night, I don't remember much. I'm going to keep it 100. I don't even remember walking up out of there. I could have dropped from the stadium. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what's, what's, like, your thing in Vegas? You know, I, I feel like everybody has, like, different stuff. Some people are, like, super into food. Some people, yeah. like, the clubs, like, gambling, all that sort of stuff. Like, what, what's, what's your go-to? Like, what, what are you excited about when you go to Vegas? You know what? I'm transitioning into what I do and do not like. It used to be the clubs uh -huh. and um, the clubs. <laughs> day, <laughs> the day clubs. clubs yeah. Night clubs, night clubs, day clubs, <laughs> after hour club. Uh, but right now, the food for yeah. sure. Yeah. Still the pool when it gets warm because you know I love the pool. That's anyway. and um, the spas. The spas, yeah, okay. Man. The spas, buffets. I'm getting around the buffets. The, that okay. one, yeah. So I'm, you know, doing different things while I'm out here. Aren't you That's checking out the spa later today? Yeah, in like an hour, I got a <laughs> massage. You know what I'm saying? Man, me, <laughs> me and wife are gonna be big chilling. Oh, I thought it was you and me. No, oh, no, 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 oh, no, I thought you were bringing me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look, no, I'm gonna have to get up out of here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, Is it hey, steamy in here? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you think back to Super Bowl 50? Is that Every daily? Every time I watch football. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a problem with comparing defenses to ours. Yep. And I see bad defenses. Like, oh, my goodness. What are these guys being taught? Yeah. What are they preparing for? I, I watch football, and a lot of times it's uh, unprepared football. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not knowing or not being taught, whatever the case is, not studying yourself is – tendencies and down and distances and different things like that and I'm not saying that you know as a player I was immune of course I fell into some traps and missed keys that I'm supposed to recognize and stuff but not doing it at a consistent as high as a rate as it is in football right now is just like oh my goodness this is ridiculous yeah I feel I feel like I watch football now and like I see plays happen. I'm like, how did they not talk about it? Like, I watch the Chiefs. They still some, running some of the same plays. Like, how did y'all not have a meeting on this specific play? Or it'd be like two-minute drill, first play, screen. Like, that's been the thing for, like, the last 20 years. Like, how y'all not ready for this? Third and long draw. Check that on the screen. Yep. That's like your ABC. Absolutely. Like, how do you not know that? You get 40 yards on the screen, there's no way. No. Nah. There's no way. So is that credit to, to Wade Phillips for having you guys prepared? Or, or what was, what was the, the most important thing to make that defense elite and historic? Uh, a mix. You know, Joe Woods, yep. uh, yeah. Wade. Um, and then I think it was just our willingness to be prepared and be great. Like, that want from almost every single member. If not, I wouldn't mm -hmm. even say almost. Every single member of that defense and that team it was just like, 
the accountability yep. was on an all-time high, responsibility. You know, every meeting, coach going to come in, mm -hmm. what's your job, what's your responsibility? Your job is to do what you're assigned to do. Your responsibility is to get to the ball. Yep. So that was the mentality. Yeah, the pressure was there. I mean, even when I when I joined the team, the pressure was there. <laughs> my first Tom game in, this story. <laughs> my first game Tom, in, like, I, I keep, I, <laughs> I was playing. I kept messing up. I come back to the huddle, like, hey, y'all, I'm going to get it right. Like, don't worry. I'm going to figure out. Like, man, if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and just get your play right. I was like, man. Hey, Todd, right. give us the call. We, <laughs> we know what you're going through. We get it. Give us the defense. <laughs> man. When did you start being the guy who, who put, brought the plays in? Um... It was on and off, like, when I had, like, the couple games that I started, like, okay. maybe one or two times that I did that, and then once I became the starter is when I had the green dot. Yeah. And then Todd yeah. had a, a, a fast acceleration to starting. Like, yeah. he came in free agent, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. And then, like, you know, free agents come and go all the time. Like, but he came in and got, like you said, special teams, started getting a rotation. It was like, oh, he could play. And then he came in that – Bengals game was like, <laughs> hey man, why you got no? It was like, it was like your little you brother, snot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Snot. It was in like two minutes, it was cold and shit. Todd, like, tired as hell. He's like, all right, guys, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it together. It was like, Todd, give us a defense. They about to line up right now. But then after that, it was no issues from Todd. After that, he was, you know, he was the centerpiece of the defense, man. And he made us go, him and B. Mark That's and Danny hilarious. T. So, you know, you look back at where you started, and yeah. it's so funny because that is definitely a memorable story in my book, in my bank at all time. Me and Key, we laugh about that all the time. But remember Ty came in that Bengals game? <laughs> hey, look, I was tricked. I was a rookie. I had been here for two weeks, and I'm trying to, I'm supposed to start and get these people to call. And it's, like, it's like two minutes. Like it's, and we run yeah, it. Yeah, like it was a, in that defense, a, a too. tight game. Fourth quarter, third, fourth quarter, he throwing in the fire. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Oh, my God. Dang. Do you have a welcome to the NFL story that you remember? Uh, Obviously, it was I before you got I always this story. Broncos. It was actually before the game. Um, we played Tampa. I played Tampa Bay my first year in Cleveland. First game of the season, we were on the road in Tampa. And um, Kellen Winslow, had Jr., had just signed with Tampa Bay from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a big personality character type guy, so he had a a presence among the players that were still there in the locker room. They would talk about the stuff he did and, you know, what it is that, that. So I had a kind of impression of who this person was without meeting him already. And then we got in the game, and they we do the intros. They come out, they got the buck thing, pirate boat popping off and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the flags are coming. They got the big buck flag. And I'm standing on the sideline, and it's still kind of smoky from the fireworks and the haze and the fire. And uh, Kellen Winslow comes down our sideline with a big-ass flag, probably as big as his backdrop. And he's walking down. He's looking at every player like, I'm like, what the hell is this? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to knock your top off. You don't even know. This is my first game. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to knock your top off. So, uh him and one of our linebackers get into it. Or they, he trying to fight him, get to the field. Like, bro, the game ain't even started. Matt Roth is crazy, by the yeah. way. Outside linebacker, play for the Dolphins. But um, that was probably, like, my first, like, damn, this is the NFL. This is crazy. It felt like the flashes on Any Given Sunday. Remember in the yeah. game on, on Any Given Sunday, that movie where Jamie's going through something or whatever, a player they're going to show tackles hit, and it's just like flash, poof, 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 poof. <laughs> That's how I felt. Yeah. Spe I mean, you mentioned Kellen Wizzle being, being a talker. Who was the biggest talker on that, that Super Bowl 50 defense? Probably me. <laughs> for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, but what do you definitely. say? What do you say? Oh, man, this is... No, you can say whatever on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking around this radio. Here, man. Uh, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I talk very uh, disrespectfully, but with respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm disrespectful with respect. I'm not going to go too crazy, but... Um, I'd like to get a reaction out of other players. Um, that kind of, I was going to use the wrong words. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of roused me up a little bit. And when they don't talk, it's kind of like, I got to get this guy to say something. Um, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, it just, it helps me build a kind of dislike for that person. Yeah. yeah. What's it like seeing the Chiefs as successful as they are in, in the Super Bowl again? I wish this team, I wish we would have played these guys. Yeah. Like Pat Mahomes, that's what irks me is because, like, 
dude, we used to beat y'all ass. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> so, all this little cheese stuff. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but I'll never root for a chief. A chef, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How would you defend him? Same way we defending everybody. You gonna, we gonna make you do what we want you to do. Exactly. We gonna line up in front of you. We gonna play cover eight, cover one, mm -hmm. cover six, three buzz. We got about six defenses. And that's it. And you go and see it. Let us do something. Yeah. <laughs> line up. DJ, we got to let you run. You're a busy man here. But first, you got to tell us about your foundation, your agency. You got a lot of things going on. Yeah, I got, well, two mainly. My agency, Player Above Sports. Um, we're out here this weekend representing Kevin Givens, um, our D lineman for the Diners. So um, he's our, our biggest client right now. And good luck to him. And I hope he has a great game and they win. Mm -hmm. And then my foundation is the War Boy Project. Yep which is tailored to youth development, youth improvement. Um, we have high school, pr private school scholarships that we've been providing for the last four years and trying to expand on that. Um, I have a golf tournament coming May 21st in the Bay Area. We have um, health, nutrition, symposiums, football camps. You know, we had a craft feed a couple months ago for fundraising. So we're looking to put um, a few more programs together uh, we have a mentorship program for middle schoolers in development right now. So, you know, we're just funding and trying to provide outlets and resources for these kids uh, in the Bay Area. Man. That's great, man. Yeah. I ain't got my invite to the golf tournament. I guess you don't they want to go there. We'll bury by it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they haven't even been out yet. You're going to get yours. Don't worry. I'm going to pull out. Don't you worry. It's coming. All right. But, yeah. Awesome. Man, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much for rocking and rolling TV. with us, TJ. Hey, um, man, TD got his own show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making it the happen, baby. Little so, boys man. all grown up. You know what I'm saying? No more snot. No more snot. That's funny. Uh, awesome. All right, fellas. Thank you all so right, much, you, man. DJ. Oh, no, no, talk to man.